What's going on everyone, welcome back to the next episode. In today's episode, it's a huge game. It is another top of the table clash. But before we get into it, if you do enjoy today's content, make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit that notification bell as well if you can. I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me so far, it's amazing. But as I said, it's a top of the table clash. We are against Rochdale, they're in second place. We are top, so it's a huge game. But before we show you the team for today, there has been some games since the last time you saw us. So let me catch up on what's happened. So the last episode you saw was against Stevenage, we won 1-0. Since then we have had two more games, so we were playing against Rotherham. It was in the Papa John's Trophy second round. Unfortunately, we didn't win. It was a pretty disappointing performance from us. We lost 3-1. We did have 12 shots, 7 on target. We actually had more possession. We just couldn't make it count. They did get two goals early in the first half. We did get a goal just before half time, but they did get a third one just after half time. So it is unfortunate, but it does let us concentrate on the league and the FA Cup. And then we played against Crawley away. We won 2-1. It was a tight game. We actually had to use a makeshift squad. We do have a big running lately so we have to make sure that we rotate the players but we did have 13 shots 9 on target with 57% possession. Crawley did take the lead through Mitch Rowe's own goal but we did get a quick response through OT in the 44th minute and then we got one through Collins in the 46th minute and then we managed to hold on to the lead for the second half so it was a great win. And what that means is we are still top of the league. We've played 24 matches. We've won 22, drawn 2. We have a goal difference of 46 and we've got 68 points. We now have a huge 19 point lead over Rochdale currently. The great thing as well is we're about to play them so we could make an even bigger lead and we still have a game in hand as well. So with the game in hand we can actually make it 22 points and if we win this game it can be 25. But I'm ready for it so let's get in and show you the team for today. So we do have a pretty strong squad for today. We did rest a lot of players for the last game. We actually have Newcastle in a couple of days as well. So we're just going to have to prioritize the league, unfortunately. Hopefully we can get a good performance against Newcastle. But I do want to win the league and get back-to-back -back titles. So in goal, we've got Hammond. At right back, we've got Horsfield. In centre back is Norty and Ogungbo. And at left back is Garmston. In centre midfield, we've got Barjonis and Aziz. At right wing is Can. Left wing is Davies. Attacking mid centrals McGee and Balogun's up front. I am hoping we can get a good performance here. If we can win it, we can get a massive stride towards the title. So let's get into it. Here's the lineup, so let's get into the dressing room and let's give the fans a performance they're expecting. Quick encouragement and let's get into it. But it was a good win against Crawley. We did just win it by the skin of our teeth, but we luckily got the three points anyway. Barjona just picks up the ball here. Can's got it, moves forward into the box. And Balogun gets a goal. Great start to the game, three minutes in. 21st goal of the season for him, absolutely incredible player. Great start for this game, exactly what we needed. Great tackle from Barjonis here, plays over to Can. Great move forward here. And Balogun's there to smash it in. Great start, and he's a fantastic player. I really want to try and sign him if I can. But as I was saying, it was a great win against Crawley. Considering we had a week inside, we had to kind of rest some players because we did have this game, which is a big one. And we've got Newcastle in a couple of days as well. Horsefield's on the ball again to Narty. Narty plays it over to Can into Aziz. Barjon is back to Narty. Great play here. And what I love about this team is they're just playing great passing football. Narty gets a ball there, but it doesn't go anywhere. So Horsefield picks up. Narty again. Can he try again? To Balogun. Horsefield now on the right. Plays a ball in. Davies is there and he gets a second. 12th goal this season for Davies. Incredible. Another header as well. 13 minutes, 2 0. Exactly the start we needed. Great ball over here from Horsefield. Davies is just there to knock it in. I'm hoping we can play like this against Newcastle. I might rest some players if we do get to the stage of being 3-0 up. Because I do want to try and win the Newcastle game if we can. Because I'm hoping that they probably will play a week inside. Maybe play some youngsters and things. So we will maybe have a chance. But we'll just have to see. But it's going well so far. Garmston on the ball now. To McGee. Back to Garmston. Aziz. To Barjonis. Plays it back to Gungbo. Great ball over. Balogun's there. And it's 3-0, but it's disallowed. Great goal there, but unfortunately he's offside. Oh, he's just off. That was a great ball over as well. Great finish as well. Hopefully we can get a third here just to see off the game. Can gets it here. Balogun now. Plays it through to McGee. And he takes a strike and it's just gone over. A good chance there. Bit of a mistake from field in there. But I have been looking at the transfer market again. I have been looking at the free transfer market. There, It's actually about three or four players. Grayson here and a great save from Hammond. There's about three or four players that I have been looking at that would add great quality. Unfortunately, we don't have the wage budget. We do have the transfer budget that I could kind of adjust, but I don't want to get into the habit of lifting the wage budget too much. And then the problem is we're then going to start getting into financial trouble because we do have a higher wage budget. So we're just going to make do with what we've got just now. 
If I do think any of them can make a difference, there was a left back actually, but he was asking for too much money, so we won't actually be picking him up. So um, January is around the corner, so we'll maybe look and see if we can add any additions. I will just get to half time. I won't take Can off just now. We'll take him off at half time. Pierrick here. He's actually a fantastic player. I've had him on other saves before. Fielding now. Plays it forward. Done here. Aitchison's a great player as well, actually. Amber John is slides, but Dunn gets it back. It's played into the box. And it's gone in. Baldock just before halftime. Really disappointing there. I don't know what the keeper was actually doing. They have found a way back in here. Really disappointing just before halftime as well. Dunn gets the ball in here. Plays it to Haygarth. Oh, really disappointing. I don't know what Hammond was doing there. Well, hopefully we can get another goal in the second half. But that is half time now. It is 2-1. We did have a great start to the game. We got a goal through Balogun in the fourth minute and then a goal through Davies in the 14th. We did have a disallowed goal in the 26th minute and then Baldock got one just after, before half time. So a little bit disappointing, but hopefully we can get a good result in the second half, get a couple of goals and see this game off. We did have seven shots, though, three on target with 54% possession. So we are dominating it. We've got great pass completion as well at 91%. So hopefully we can keep it up. Let's get into the dressing room. And I'm pleased with how things are going. And let's start the second half. And let's quickly, actually, we'll take Can off because he's really tired. So we'll take Can off and we'll put Lamb on. But I'm hoping we can get the win here if we can. This will be massive. Currently, we are 21 points ahead of them, but we do have a game in hand as well. Pierre on the ball here, moves forward. Davies picks it up, though. Hopefully, we can counter here. Davies still to McGee. Plays it back to Aziz. Great ball through to Balogun. Can he finish it? And he can. Great save from field in there. Good play, though. McGee now. Plays the corner in. And it's cleared. And it comes to nothing. We've got half an hour left to go. Hopefully, we can get the win here. When it gets about the 75th minute, we'll try and just play the game down. Play a little bit at a lower tempo. Let's make some substitutions as well, just so we can... Uh, Get a little bit of time on our side. And what we're going to do is let's bring Bodu on for McGee. We'll do that currently. We'll wait until about the 8th minute and then we'll just kind of slow the game down. We'll go to defensive. Let's lower the tempo. Do a little bit of time wasting. And let's go to a little narrower there. 7 minutes left to go. We aren't going to bring on Huxley just now. Hopefully we can just see this off now. A couple of minutes left. And that's the end of the game. What a win that was. Massive, massive game for us. Massive win. Huge three points for us going for the title. We did win 2-1 against Rochdale. They are in second place. We did have 14 shots, 6 on target with 57% possession. Absolutely incredible game from the guys. Let's get into the dressing room. And a good win there. And that is a huge win on our way to the title. Absolutely massive win against Rochdale. They were second in the league at times, so but we have won 2 1 against them. Absolutely incredible result. We did get goals through Balogun and Davies in the first half, but they did get one just from Baldock just before half time. But we did hold on in the second half and held on for the win. And what that does to the league table is we're still top. We've played 25, won 23, drawn 2. We have a goal difference of 47 and we've got 71 points now. It is looking like we'll get another 100 point season this season. And we're also 21 points ahead of Carlisle in second place now. But we still have a game in hand as well, so if we can win that, we will go 24 points, which is massive but as i said in the last episode we are going to come back for the newcastle game it is a massive match it is an fa cup third round newcastle are in the premier league so it is going to be a tough side for us it is going to be a hard game but hopefully we can get some kind of result i'm going to let the guys rest for the next couple of days because it is just in three days time but as always thank you so much for coming and watching i really appreciate it thank you for the support if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you next time